Hello everybody and welcome to your linear algebra review on converting systems of equations to matrix systems. My name is Jason and I work for the ASU tutoring centers. Now, uh, the big thing about this section is that every linear system of equations, so any, any system of equations that looks like that, can be converted into a matrix equation, something that looks like this, where A here is some matrix, and x and b are some vectors. And keep in mind, a vector is just a matrix that only has one column. So, so a matrix with one column. That's, that's all a vector is. So when I say vector, that's, that's what I mean. Okay. So any linear system can be converted to a, a matrix equation that looks like this. So let's figure out how to do that. The easiest way for me is to first figure out what X is going to look like, what that vector is going to look like. So this vector is a vector of variables. So in this case, for, our, for this system of equations, I have two variables I'm working with. I'm working with an X and I'm working with a Y. So my vector can either look like X and then Y, or it can look like Y and then x. Okay, so there are two options. Which one do I use? Uh, technically, you're allowed to use either one. They're, they're, it's completely arbitrary, right? The variables are just chosen arbitrarily. Um, <clears throat> but doing this way is more conventional. That's the usual way. We typically like to go in alphabetical order when we do have our variables. So our first variable on top will be an x, and then the next one will be y. And if we had another variable, let's say we'd have Z afterwards and, and so on and so forth. Okay, so this is just the standard way that we'll have our variables. So that's what we're going to use. Uh, in the case of when we have subscripted variables, um, like X sub one, X sub two, X sub three, we just write them in an in increasing order. X sub one first, then X sub two, then X sub three, and, and so on. Okay, so let me go ahead and rewrite this vector x, the one that I'm going to use in the top left, clear out some room. So the vector x that I'm choosing to use is going to be x and then y. Okay, now let's figure out what I'm going to do for my matrix A. So to, to um, write our matrix A, let's first decide the dimensions of the matrix, how many rows and how many columns are going to be in it. So when constructing your matrix A, the number of rows equals the number of equations that you have in your linear system. And the number of columns equals the number of variables you have in your linear equation. Okay, so let's look again at this, at this top example. So, how many equations do we have? Well, we have one and two. So we have two equations. So we're going to have two rows in our matrix. And how many variables do we have? Well, we mentioned it before. We only have X and Y. So we're going to have two columns in our matrix. So A is going to be a two by two matrix. Now to decide what to put in the matrix, it's always going to be the coefficients in front of your variables. Okay, so the, the little numbers that are, that are outside in front of your variables. So to decide where those coefficients go, basically uh, it, it depends on this vector that we chose up here. So our first variable X, that sort of represents like the first column of your matrix. That's how you can think about it. So we would look at the coefficients in front of X from our linear system. In this case, there's a, an imaginary one hanging out in front of there, and we have a two hanging out in front of here. So we would put a one and then a two. And then our second variable in our vector represents the second column, which would be a two and a three. So that is what our A matrix looks like. Okay, and then to get our B matrix, it's just the coefficients that are on the right-hand side of our equation. Um, sorry, I'd be vector. So that would be the five and then the three. 
So overall, if we were to take this A and multiply by this X, it would equal this B. So we have AX equals B. Okay. So that's, that's how you convert a, a, a system of equations into a matrix equation, right? Um, now, once you have your matrix equation, you can make something called an augmented matrix. An augmented matrix is particularly useful uh, for solving matrix equations. We'll, we'll start using them in future videos to sort of reduce our matrix and simplify it. That way it's more easy to see the solutions. So what an augmented matrix looks like is you just take your A matrix and you put this vertical line and then you put your B vector. So in our case, our augmented matrix would look like one, two, two, three, augmented with five, three. This is our augmented matrix. Okay. So you basically just uh, ignore the variables. Like in your head, you still know what the variables are, but you sort of, um, you don't need them when simplifying your equation. Cool. So we just did that for the first one. Now let's go through the same process for the second one. I'm going to go ahead and clear out all of the drawings here. So for the second one, we go through the same process. So I see the variable x1, x2, and x3. So that is what my, my variable vector is going to be, x1, x2, and x3. Now I want to decide my A matrix. So typically the easiest way to do that is to make sure you have all your variables written in the correct order. So we're doing x1 first and then x2 and then x3. So that should be um, what this linear system looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and reorganize all of my equations so that my x1 comes first, my x2 comes second, and my x3 comes third. So that's what the first equation looks like when I, when I reorganize. The second one looks like this. And the third one, because I don't have any x1s or x2s, the third one looks like this. And now when I want to make my A matrix, now that I have it all in the correct order, I literally just take the coefficients and I put them into a matrix. So it would look like negative 4, 3, 0, 1, negative 6, 7, 0, 0, 13. And then again, my B vector is just the right-hand side. So it would be 2, 10, 39. So if I were to take this A and multiply by this X, I would end up getting this B out of it. Okay, and then our augmented matrix would just be negative four, three, zero, one, negative six, seven, zero, zero, thirteen, augmented with two, ten, thirty-nine. So I take this matrix, vertical line, that vector. Okay, there you go. So so now we know how to convert linear systems of equations into matrix systems. Um, once we have it in a matrix system we can start doing the linear algebra to simplify it down and more easily find our solutions. Uh, well, thank you for joining me over on this next slide. We have additional resources for you. So as I mentioned at the beginning, I work with the ASU tutoring centers. Um, so if you want more information on the free services that we offer on all four campuses and online, go ahead and check out that link, tutoring.asu.edu. If you want specifically more content like this one, that goes over specific concepts from your course, um, or you want maybe a list of upcoming review sessions for your exams, go ahead and check out that link down there. Thank you all again uh, and have a wonderful day.